Hey friends, it's Nicole Spore here today and I'm going to be sharing this rainbow detail stenciling card with you showing how to use some detail ink blenders to create this really awesome rainbow abstract triangle background. I'm also going to share, if you don't have the detail tools, how you can use regular foams. Now I did use some pixie spray on the back of this triangle blast, I think I called it the wrong thing a minute ago, it's a triangle blast stencil, and you want to spray it with a nice even spray about 12 inches away, which I did off camera because it's messy, um, and I wanted to do it and protect my work surface. Let that kind of dry to a tacky touch for about a minute, and then put it over your paper. So this is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of smooth white cardstock that I now don't have to worry about moving. I am using post-it tape, however, to mask off each of the areas because every little single triangle, I want to be a different color. And in order to do that, I am using a different foam here with a mini ink blending tool. For my regular distress inks, I actually have a tool for each color, but today I am using the Hero Hues Reactive Inks. Love these inks. If you are wanting complete and total rainbow bright colors, I absolutely love them. As the name indicates, they are reactive with water, so they are super fantastic. I'm not going to be using them as such today. I'm just using them to stencil, but I love them. So, so pretty. And I think I'm using pretty much every color of the rainbow that there is. And I'm simply moving those post-its around and coloring each area in. Now, probably if I was going to use the ink blending tool like this, I would probably grab a couple of handles, even if it's not permanently, um, so I don't have to switch back and forth quite so much. And that would probably make it go a little bit quicker. I wanted to share this because if you don't have um, the tool I'm going to share here in a second, that's okay. You can still get these results. And there are some other tools out there that might work as well. Um, Dauber Duos, those little sponge daubers, those would be great. I actually didn't have any of those um, clean. I, they're, they're all the ones I have are another color, and so I didn't want to cross-contaminate and maybe contaminate any of these Hero Hues colors, but I think that would be a great option as well. Now, you can see I was able to lift the corner of the stencil, pull that up, and it's stenciling perfectly. There's no ink getting underneath the stencil because, remember, we've put an entire coat of the Pixie Spray all over the back. Huge time saver and makes stenciling a dream. I do not know what I did without it before because I'm addicted to this stuff now. It's fantastic. I'm going to keep working kind of my way through this panel. I did quite a few of the triangles this way and I really wanted to just share kind of how time consuming it was really just to kind of show if you're doing it this way it's very possible Honestly, I usually don't mind. This is kind of one of those projects or, or techniques that is enjoyable at times to create just because it's repetition and it's rainbow and it's fun. I generally don't mind doing things like this, but if you want to save some time, I just recently got the little detail ink blending tools. These are little miniature teeny tiny versions of this big handle here. They do not have removable foams, so kind of the color you use is the color you're stuck with, but they're double-ended, meaning you can kind of use maybe one in for blues, one in for purples, one for pink, one for red, one for yellow, one for orange, so on and so forth. So you could use them over and over with different inks and just kind of have a designated end for each color if you want to do that. Or I think I'll probably have one set that I use with my... Hero Hues Reactive Inks, and another set that I'll use with Distress Ink, if that makes sense. So that I always have these tools available for when I want to do some detail ink blending work. So let's switch to those. You can see I've got the ends inked up. They're actually white. They are not color coded like this. They're color coded like this because I've already inked with them a little bit. So it's really easy to see 
at the drop of a hat which color I need and just pick up that tool and start coloring. Now this is where the ease of use comes into play. Before I was having to mask off because that foam was much larger than the stencil area that I was doing. And so I would have to mask it off with post-it tape, ink it, and then kind of switch back and forth. I'm not even masking off. The end of these little detail stenciling tools are so small that I really don't need to do anything to be able to quickly and easily stencil all of these rectangle areas. And that's going to go for any kind of stencil you're using. If there are some little detail areas that you want to add color to, these are going to be fantastic for that. Absolutely can't recommend these enough just because I can kind of go through now and just start adding color. At first, I was really trying to kind of stick to rainbow order, but as I worked my way across and down the panel, I could see that that really was just going to be kind of a hassle. And what I'm really going for is just a beautiful assortment of rainbow background all over. And that's how I'm going to achieve that is just by kind of mixing and matching and going back and forth. You definitely wouldn't have to use this many shades per color group either. Like for blue, I think I had three colors. Purple, I had three colors. Um, green, there's two. You could just use one shade from each color group and probably, you know, save a little bit more time or not have quite as many colors. I wanted a lot of color here. And again, I really, really love these Hero Hues Reactive Inks, and I think it's a great way to show you how those work. Okay, I've pulled off the stencil now. Super duper excited. Look how awesome the stenciled background is. We've got all of those individual little triangles. They all have fantastic color. Just beautiful, beautiful. And I think it's so exciting to see how well it stencils with A, the pixie spray on the back of that stencil to hold it in place so it's not shifting at all. And B, with those great little mini ink blending tools or detail ink blending tools. So we've got our background. I will tell you I ended up trimming this down to four by five and a quarter inches which is going to leave us with a little border all the way around. And I am using the Today Will Be Awesome die. And this comes with two pieces. It's going to come with the solid rectangle which is slightly larger than the rectangle that die cuts the Today Will Be Awesome. So this is a really clean and simple design. I know we spent quite a bit of time on the background inking it up. That's kind of our focal point here. And then we're going to tie it all together with some rainbow for the Today Will Be Awesome. Definitely don't have to. I want to share. I die cut this from Smooth White cardstock, and I'm going to take all of the letters out and set those over to the side. I'm actually not going to be using the insides of any of those letters, but you could totally adhere this to the black rectangle just like this and that is a really stunning design. Or you could even die cut that from another color of cardstock and it's still very legible so super easy to read and a really really great encouraging sentiment. In addition before I adhere these to my card I do want to stamp a sentiment from the Greetings Mix 1 stamp set we are going to be stamping, you got this, I support you no matter what. I think I have mentioned this many, many times in my videos, especially probably in the last six to eight months or so, but I think it's worth reiterating, and if you're new here, um, I just kind of want to talk a little bit about that as well. I am a huge fan of encouragement cards. I think anytime we can send an encouragement card to anyone who might be struggling, we all are going through different things. But just a little card to say, hey, I'm thinking about you. Um, I'm here for you. Whatever. It just helps with connection. And I think it's so, so important. And I'm absolutely loving all of our favorite companies coming out with all of these great encouragement type products. And Simon really does a great job with theirs and I love seeing all of the great additions to that kind of um, theme of card making. So I kind of, I, I also have said this a lot lately, but it's true. I 
tend to go extra. So while this card might be clean and simple in its finished design, I die cut the Today Will Be Awesome from many, many colors of pattern paper. Now, the great thing about, or not pattern paper, pardon me, rainbow cardstock. I want this to coordinate with our background. Great thing about this is I am going to be able to save all of those pieces and make other cards. In fact, I put them all in a little plastic baggie and I'm just going to make a bunch of cards just like this or similar. I can switch up the background, but all of them are going to have some sort of rainbow sentiment so that I can use all those little pieces. Most of the letters stuck in that rectangle, so they didn't even pop out and go away. It's going to be really easy to hold on to all of these and be able to create more cards. When I do that, I will be sharing on social, so make sure you're following me on social so you can kind of see maybe some other ideas of what to do with those leftover pieces. Another tip, because these letters are pretty teeny tiny, I am using this great little quickie glue. It's a little liquid glue pen. Love it. I am simply drawing around the area where the letter is going to go and then popping it into place. It makes adding all these little pieces so easy and I don't have a ton of glue squishing out from around, messing up my project, making it messy, making glue spots. Really highly recommend this little quickie glue pen. And instead of filling in those little open areas with white, which I could, they're over there to the right, I saved them all, I opted not to. I actually really liked how it looked having some black cardstock peek through those letters. And so we're just going to leave that as is so that just kind of gives it a little bit more of a funky, fun feel, I think. Now, I thought there were a couple little spots where the Pixie Spray maybe, I don't know, there was a little residue. And so I actually took my Tombow Mono Sand Eraser and just erased a couple of little spots. And then I'm taking a dry, flat paintbrush and just moving away any of that. The ink has dried. By the time I die cut all those letters and stuff, the ink really had had a nice chance to dry, so it's not going to smear. And then I'm going to take a white top fold card base, and we are just going to simply pop this beautiful rainbow encouragement panel right on top, and that is it today. I opted to keep this clean, simple, no extra embellishment needed. I think if you wanted to add a picture book die critter or something, that would be really cute as well. So if you want to go that extra mile, you totally could. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this rainbow detail stenciling card featuring Simon Says Stamps, Dies, and Stencils. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.